My visiting visa is expi expired two years ago. Could I marry an American citizen and get my green card through them now? Absolutely. Scarlet Knight says, if hey. previously uh, filed CR1 that went wrong, how hard will the K-1 be if I filed right after the divorce? As law, what, I don't know what, what wrong means. If there was a, a bogus marriage, you're going to have a big problem. But you're allowed to fall in love, out of love, and in love again. So it sounds like the person was married, mm -hmm. <coughs> filed a visa petition, mm -hmm. went wrong. Right. I don't know what went wrong, right. but yeah. they didn't get the green card. Right. Mm -hmm. Now divorced, and now they're going to try again through a fiancé visa. I, I, uh, I got to know what went wrong the first time. Okay. Rudra said, can I travel to India with my advanced parole if I overstayed my J-1? Uh, yes. Dari has a follow-up question. During the U.S. consulate inter, uh, interview, maybe, uh, since I should not uh, interrupt the CO, we, I remember, as, uh, to ask right. if I can provide proof of serving the 10-year bar, is it guaranteed the CO would ask for proof or just assume I haven't served it or, and deny? They're, they're going to talk to you about whatever issue you have to deny you. So just be prepared. You answer the questions. Uh, if you start interrupting the council officer, it's going to come off as rude, and they're going to get annoyed, and they're going to take it out on you. So just sit there and answer the questions, and if you have a problem, call me up. So if they, but if they don't ask it, because it's, they're asking, is it guaranteed that the CEO will ask for After well, everything is done, mm -hmm. and it hasn't been asked, mm -hmm. And uh, the the council officer says, "Okay, you're done. Just say, you can say. That's when you by the say. way, I just want you to know I served my ten years. You didn't ask about it. Right. But don't like, hi, how are you? Uh, my name is Jim. And they say, okay, so when were you born? I was born January. Stop. I want to tell you about my ten year bar. Right. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, because I think that's what they're asking. Yes. Right. Yeah." And one final one from Sebastian Z, who says, if the applicant is in the U.S. and submitted the I-130 but did not send the I-485 with it, could he still send it years later? The what? He sent the I-130 but didn't send the I-485, and now he's wondering, can you send the I-485 years later? I went through who filed for who? We don't know. I don't know. What I went, I-130 could be by a brother from right. 30 years ago. In which you have time. It, I don't know. Right. Thanks for watching. For more Brad Show Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.